Hey, what's going on and welcome back to the guide. Uh, let's continue on with travel. So first things first, as always, let us create the travel separator. So let's highlight that and copy it. Click on the three dots, click on create separator, paste, and away we go. Oh, let's see if I could endorse this. Indoors. In fact, have I missed any endorsements? Yes, I did. Spell perk item redistribution. Let me endorse that. All right, cool. All right, carriage and fair. Well, for something in my overwrite, probably some cash. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Cut. Well, what I did was I right clicked on overwrite, open and explore. I cut that folder, come back up, click on SSE edit cache, right click it, let's open it, and let's paste it inside. All right. And then I'm going to refresh by clicking the three dots and going to refresh just to update the notification. All right, sorry. I don't know if I have OCD, but sometimes I think I do. Okay. Carriage and Ferry Travel Overhaul. A lightweight overhaul of both the vanilla Skyrim carriage system and Dawnguard's ferry system. Okay, let's download the main file and then an optional file for Dawnstar by Arthmore. So click on download. Let's go into files. Let's download the main file. And let's get Dawn Ga Dawnstar by Arthmore. Okay, we're gonna install these as two separate mods. So first the main file. And then this optional file, make sure we name it properly. Click on the drop down, Dawnstar by Arthmore. Okay. And then let's activate them. We have an additional step. We're gonna flag the Arthmore Dawnstar patch as an ESL. And I'm confident that you guys are confident in knowing how to do that now. So let's load up SSE edit. Right click here, let's select none. Let's go all the way down, click on Arthmore Dawnstar patch. And okay, let SSE edit load. Okay, now let's expand uh, this right here. Click on file header, right click on record flags. Let's edit it, wait for the countdown. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Tick the box next to ESL, hit okay. And then close up SSE edit, make sure this is checked and click okay. All right, moving on, patches for diversity, CFTO patch. Use this patch with diversity vanilla hair version. Okay, cool, let's just download it. And we want the CFTO patch vanilla hair. Do do do, there it is. It's an optional file, diversity CFTO patch with vanilla hair, the second one right here. And download it. And let's install it. Yeah, I don't know why it's naming it that. Drop it down, CFTO patch vanilla hair, make sure it's named properly, click okay. And activate. Okay, Simply Knock. Simply Knock is the first feature complete mod that, that allows you to knock on locked doors of houses in Skyrim. That sounds like such a minimal thing, but man, this mod is amazing. <laughs> it really is to add immersion, I guess. And it makes me sad that it's not available for VR. I mean, there is one that's supposed to be, but it, it doesn't work. This DLL. Yeah, see? VR. It's experimental. It doesn't work. Okay. And let's install that. Simply knock SKSC 64 DLL. Good. Let's activate them. Alright, the next section. Vampires, werewolves, and bears. Oh my! Let's create that separator. So copy that. Click on the three dots. Create the separator. Paste. Okay. Sacrosanct Vampires of Skyrim. Sacrosanct overhauls vampires and vampire lords. Reverse progression, new abilities, powers, perks, hermomancy. And many gameplay tweaks for discerning on the Madonna. Let's now load it. Another mod by an Sion. Okay, let's install it. And we are not going to unpack that VSA. Oops, I double-clicked. Don't double-click. Just activate it. Okay. 
Moonlight Tales Special Edition for Skyrim Werewolf and Werebear Overhaul. Moonlight Tales Special Edition is a complete werewolf gameplay overhaul, including lunar transformations, completely new perk tree with 32 unique perks. Awesome. Let's install it. And then install it after it's downloaded. And we're not going to unpack that BSA. Activate it. Moonlight Tales Werebear Form Bug Fix Patch. Simply patch. Simply patches the werebear forms a visible skin glitch due to a reference error. Download. Install. Moonlight Tales MCM, a mod configuration menu for Moonlight Tales Special Edition. And we're going to flag it as an ESL. So let's download it. Go into files. Mod manager download and download. And then install it. Activate it, clean up this mess, delete, install downloads, and then open up SSE edit to do some cleaning. Okay, right click here, select none, go all the way down, moonlight tells mcm.esp. Tick that box, hit OK. Let SSE edit load. Okay, once it's finished, expand the box here, click on the file header. Right click on record flags, edit, count down, yes I'm absolutely sure, tick the box next to ESO, click OK, then exit, box is checked, yes, hit OK. Predator Vision Night Eye and Thermal Vision Overhaul. This mod makes Night Eye and Predator toggleable via a hotkey, and we're going to download the main file and a hotfix. So let's download that. Gopher! How many of you guys know who Gopher is? Okay, so that's the main file. Let's download the update file. Okay, so let's install the main file first. Okay. Do we want to unpack the BSA? I guess we do not. No. And then a hot fix. We're going to just merge into the main file. So just make sure the names match. Click OK. Click on Merge. And no, we don't want to extract the BSA. And then activate. Excellent. Next section, moving right along. Immersion, let's create the separator. Highlight, copy. Tick the three dots. Create separator, paste, and okay. TESL, loading screens, tweaks and add-ons. This mod tweaks and add-ons for the mod the Elder Scrolls Legends loading screens. So there's a main file, and what vigorous. Oh, there's only one. So let's download that. Okay, install it. There is the full mod. Okay, let's click on next. Next. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. Frequency 50%. Next. Okay, so tweaks. I'm going to choose tweaks. Add-ons, we want the main. Let me open this up. We want the main, we want Apocalypse, we want Imperius, we want Sacrosanct, Thunderchild, Legacy, Dragonborn, and Wildcat Combat. So those were all chosen for us already, and then just click Install. And if you had trouble seeing this, just right click and click on View Image. And it'll open right up, and then click back on the browser to go back. Alright, let's activate it. Let me see if I can endorse this. Yes, I can. Very good. All right, pumping iron, dynamic muscle growth, and we're going to extract this BSA. I started a character for my latest Let's Play Skyrim video series and deliberately made him very skinny as his backstory was that of a scholar, not a warrior. I felt it would be an interesting experience to play someone truly unsuited to an adventure life when he first picked up a sword. However, a number of people suggested that as he progressed through the trials and troubles that Skyrim threw at him, his muscles would, should grow over time due to the constant physical training he has received. Another mod by Gopher. All right, let's download that. And if I could do his accent, I would have read that in his accent, but I can't. All right, let's install it. Okay. And we're going to extract that BSA. Okay, Yacht, your own thoughts, SE. This mod basically changes most, if not all, of the second person messages in text and game and makes them first person. 
More for that juicy immersion. Mod manager download. Download. Okay, let's install it. Just give me a full mod. Okay, alternate game mechanics vanilla. No. Next. Next. Click next again. Next again. Whew, that's really tiny. So I'm going to right click, view image. So here, I'm going to open this up as much as I can. Okay, for Frostfall, we do want Frostfall. We are not using I Need. We're not using uh, Hunterborn. We are not using Chesco's Wearable Lanterns. Moonlight Tales is already checked for us. Reflection, no thank you. Lock Overhaul is already checked for us. Uh, Sky Shine Way Shrines, no. Wet and Cold, no. The Eloquent Reader is already selected for us. Let's keep going down. Convenient Horses, we're going to want the second one by Andromeda. Uh, then the ESL Classic level up, nothing there. Barely use vanilla, actors recycling, whatever. That is not activated. Can't quite see the last one here. Okay, click back on the browser. Let's click next. It sort of reset, didn't it? All right, so get caught back up to where you're supposed to be. Okay, you can't see the last selection here. So let's just assume we're not gonna use it. Spell Siphon, that doesn't sound like we're using that anyway. So let's click next here, then next. And then after the Civil War, we're not choosing anything here. We just want the uh, Provincial Courier Service. Next, next. All right, that's really tiny. I'm gonna view image. Falscar, yes, we don't want Beyond Reach. Falscar, Worm's Tooth, Elgin Reborn. Beyond Scar Rim, no thank you. Cutting Room Floor, Immersive College, no thank you. Obscures College of Winterhold, yes. The Grey Cowl, yes. Legacy of the Dragonborn, we want the, the second one. 5.4.4. Here it says 5.4.2, but don't worry about it. Just go with this one. 5.4.4. Uh, Vigilant, we don't want uh, We don't want that. Project Aho, nope. Interesting NPCs, yes. Then next. Click. Oh, yeah. Click back in your browser here. And look like this reset, so get caught up. So keep clicking until you see the NI Scion mods. And there it is. Nope, that's not it. One more. There we go. Just look for the Tranquil Lake. Okay, so Ordinator. The second choice in Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim. Summer Mist. Imperious. Uh, Wildcat, yes. Smilodin, no. Sacrosanct, yes. Andromeda, yes. Thunderchild, yes. Scroll down. Uh, okay, I can't see that. Uh, I don't want to reset either. I'll, I'll figure it out. Winter Sun, nope. Morning Star, nope. Volkri, no. Growl, nope. Uh, Trua, no. So let's click next here. Then after Trua is Even Star. Okay, let's go back. It's not showing the second half of that, so I just assume it's no for everything everything else here. So don't select anything. Next. Next. Sur survival mode, none. Camping, we're not choosing camping. Next hound, no thanks. In fact, we're not choosing anything here. So don't choose anything here. Yep, nothing. So next. Next. Immersive Sounds is checked for us. Next. Next, and that's it. Install. Boom. Activate it. Now, Yacht. Your own thoughts consistency patch by our Dark Lady Lexi. This mod is compatibility patch. Okay. Miscellaneous section, Yacht. Your own thoughts consistency patch. So click on files. Let's go down to the miscellaneous section. And there it is, Yacht. Your own thoughts consistency patch. Let's download that. And now let's install that. Let's make sure we rename it correctly. So drop down. Yacht, your own thoughts consistency patch. Okay. And then activate it. Let's clean that up. Okay. Compatibility patches. Let's create that separator. Copy. Three dots. Create separator. And paste. Okay. Okay, interesting NPCs in WACCF Outfits Patch. Let's download that. Okay, 
then install it. Okay. Let's see if I can uh, endorse that. Right click, endorse. Nope, I can't. MLU Inigo More Loot is a massive over gameplay overhaul. Mario Series. So let's find Inigo. There he is. Download. Close that up. And then let's install it. And let's make sure it's named properly MLU Inigo. All right, problem MLU Inigo contains two undeleted references. We have to clean it. And to do that, we're gonna go into the drop-down menu. We're gonna go into SSE Edit Quick Clean, and then Run. Then right-click, select no, not select all. Sorry about that. Uh, select none, just go all the way down, and you're just gonna choose Inigo, okay. Once that's finished, close it out, and you're done cleaning. Yeah, I remember when cleaning mods was a little bit more involved. That that has really simplified things. MLU Immersive Armors. More loot is a massive gameplay overhaul. Okay, let's download it. And we wanted... It's an optional files, Immersive Armors. Okay. So let's find Immersive Armors. Immersive Armors right here, bam. Let's download it. And then install it. Make sure it's named properly. Immersive Armors. Okay. Okay, Immersive Armors ISP can be safely flagged as an ESL. So we're going to flag it as an ESL. Okay. So let's go into SSE Edit. Run. Right click. Select None. Go all the way down, Immersive Armors, and OK. We're not using any mod groups. OK. All right, let's expand it. Right click on File Hitter, right click on Record Flags, Edit, Countdown, yes, I'm sure. Tick the ESL box, OK. Close it, make sure this box is ticked. Click OK. And moving on. Omega Lower Weapons Expansion Patch. This is a small patch between Omega and Lower Weapons Expansion. So it's in a miscellaneous section. So Omega Lower Weapon Expansion Patch. Files. Miscellaneous. Omega, 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 Omega. Lower Weapons Expansion Patch. Let's download that. Okay, and then install it. And let's make sure it's named properly. Omega Lower Weapons Expansion Patch. Okay. Tick the box. And we can flag it as an ESL. So let's do that. So SSE edit, run. Right click, select none, go down. Omega, lower weapon expansion, okay. And once again, we're not using any mod groups. Click okay. Expand this, click on file header. Right click on record flags, edit, countdown. Yes, I'm absolutely sure. ESL box ticked, okay. And then exit out, check box, okay. Next up, MLU community patches. This mod provides a collection of various patches for Maro Loot. Okay, let's download optional MLUC Royal Armory. Scroll down until we see Royal Armory right here. Second from the bottom. Mod Manager Download, close that, close that. Then let's install it and let's make sure it's named properly MLUC Royal Armory. Okay. Let's clean this out. And we can flag it as an ESL. So let's do that. SSE Edit, run. Right click, select none, scroll all the way down, MLU Royal Armory Patch. Select that, OK. All right, expand it here, click on File Header here, 
right click on record flags here, edit, count down, yes, I'm sure, tick the ESL box, and then OK, and then exit out, and OK. Convenient Horses Patch Hub. Patches that combine harvestable and items added by mods to auto harvesting and inventory management of convenient horses. And we're going to the main file. Apocalypse, Kako, Sick, Summer Mist, all in one. Files. So, Apocalypse, Kako, Sick, and Summer Mist, all in one, the very first one. Let's download that. And then install that. Joseph Russell's Writing Patches, a collection of patches to address text issues in the top quest and New Lands mods on Nexus. Cool. We're downloading four uh, mods here. So, Convenient Horses, Cutting the Floor, False Guard, and Grey Cow. I swear I'm going to play the Grey Cow this next playthrough. <laughs> okay. Convenient Horses, Cutting the Floor, False Scar, and then the Grey Cow right here and then let's install them as separate mods so convenient horses drop down convenient horses writing patch cutting room floor drop down cutting room typo patch false scar false scar writing patch the gray cowl nocturnal the gray cowl nocturnal writing patch okay and then let's activate them. Okay, we got a manual SSE edit required. JR Conventional Horses Patch, CRF Patch, False Scar, Grey Cow, all could be safely flagged as ESLs. So we're going to flag all of these as ESLs. So SSE edit, click run. Right click, select none. Let's go all the way down and tick the boxes next to all four. Everything that starts with JR, then OK. No mod groups, please. OK. So let's go uh, through them one by one. Convenient horses, expand the box, click on file header, I click on record flags, edit. Yes, I'm sure. Tick the box next to ESL, OK. CRF patch, expand it, file header, record flags, right click, edit, ESL. False scar, expand, file header, record flags, edit, ESL. Okay. And then finally, uh, gray cow, file header, gray cow of nocturnal. Okay. File header, right click, record flags, edit, tick the box next to ESL. Okay. That's it. Exit out. Make sure these are all checked, and then OK. Boom, -de boom, -de boom. RS Children Patch Compendium. This mod adds various patches for RS Children, so let's download the main file, Fomod Beta. Here's the files, main file, so we're looking forward to RSC Fomod Beta. Let's download that. All right, so let's install it. And looky here, there's a full mod. So let's expand this full mod here. I'm going to right click and view image to get a better view. And let's expand this. So we don't, I'm just going to name what we want. So we want Arthmore's Keldar, Arthmore's Oakwood. We want Books of Skyrim. We want Cutting Room Floor. We want Falscar. We do not want Etak Riverwood. Uncheck that. Then Forgotten City, Elgin Reborn, Interesting NPCs, Moon and Star. Then I'm going to click back on the browser, click Next on the full mod, and then we're going to continue over here. And then, yeah, out of everything else, we just want Worm's Tooth, and that is the case here. And then Next, and Next. And we don't want humanish nedri, we want dunmerish nedri. And then install. Okay, 
so before we activate that, looks like we're going to replace uh, Keldar Patch ESP with this replacer here. So click on this. Alright, and let's download it. It's just an ESP, it's not a zip, so we're going to have to copy paste. Save it. Okay, then open up your download folder. Right click. Cut. Close. Then right click on our children patch compendium, open and explore, and then patch, or, and then paste. And then replace the file, yes. All right, close that and we're done. Close this up. Okay, miscellaneous merge consistency patch. This mod is a compatibility patch for miscellaneous merge. So it's gonna be in a miscellaneous section, miscellaneous merge. So let's look for it. Click on download, click on files. Okay, miscellaneous, miscellaneous merge, consistency patch, right ya. Mod manager download. Now let's install it. Make sure it's named properly. Miscellaneous merge, consistency patch, okay. And let's, well, activate both of these. Next up, missives, carriage of fairy travel overhaul patch. Let's download it. It's in the miscellaneous section, missives, carriage and fairy travel overhaul patch. Let's do it. Download it. And then let's install it. Boom. Let's see if I can endorse it. Nope. Prebash consistency patch. This is a mod. This mod is compatibility patch for the prebash merge. Okay, so it's gonna be in a miscellaneous section. Prebash. Let's look for it. So files, miscellaneous, prebash, prebash. There it is, pre-bash consistency patch. Mod manager download. And now let's install it. And let's make sure it's installed or named properly. Pre-bash consistency patch, okay. Activate. Legacy of the Dragonborn patches official. And we're gonna extract this BSA. And here's a idiot check. Make sure Zim, Stain Weapons Reborn, Moral Loot Ultimate, Immersive Sounds Compendium, and Zim's Immersive Artifacts are unchecked in the full mod. And we will. So let's download the main file. Here's the main file. Download. Okay, let's expand this full mod. I know this is going to be pretty extensive. So just take your time. Attention to detail. That way you don't have to uh, make upload video, upload uh, updated videos. <laughs> or in the first section, we just want to enhance lights and effects, and that is the case. Boom, let's click next. So I'm gonna right click and view image here. So we want amulets of Skyrim, artifacts of Boethia, Ethereum armor and weapons compilation, compilation, bad gremlins, cloaks of Skyrim, Fossil Mining, Oblivion Artifacts, Royal Armory, Skyrim Sewers. Let's go down a little bit more. Skyrim Unique Treasures, yes. Tools of Kagnarak, next. I'm gonna click back on the browser here. And let's click next here and get caught up to the page that we're on. So Armory Additions, I cannot see that. View Image. So we want Dawnguard Arsenal, Heavy Armory, Immersive armors, Jesus swords, and here's one of the ones that we're not supposed to install. Zim stain weapons. Let's uncheck that. Click next. Then click back in the browser. Get caught back up here in the full mod. We're looking for quest displays. That's right here. Eh, I could kind of make this one out. So we got False Scar, yes. Forgotten City, the Great Cal Nocturnal, Hogan Reborn. Conric Sakuchimots, Moon Path Elsewhere, Moon and Star, and Warp's Tooth. Good to go there. Next. Next. Okay, we do not want this uh, Moral Loot Ultimate patch, so uncheck that. Click Next. Next. Okay, I could just make this out. Okay, so we want Apotheosis, Apophysis, Dragon Priest Mask, so check that box. Audio Overhaul, yes. Complete alchemy and cooking overhaul. Complete crafting overhaul remastered. Cutting room floor. Scroll down and open this up. So immersive sounds compendium, yes. Keep it clean, yep. Let's click next over here. 
missives, yes, Mr. Condenser, yes, organized bandits in Skyrim, yes, RS children, yes, ruins clutter approved, we make sure that's checked, serenity, a silent moons camp overhaul, yes, Skyrim revamped, yes, sky test, realistic animals, yes, static mesh improvement mod, yes, scroll down, trade and barter, yep, Weapons, armor, clothing, clutter. Yep. Zim's immersive artifacts. We do not want that one. So uncheck that. Next. Next. And this page is good to go. Better skills. Not so fast. And the choice is yours. We want all three of those. Next. Next. And then install it. Boom. And yes, we are extracting this BSA. clean this up. Delete install downloads. Okay, legacy of the Dragmar, Dragon Mail, Curus, and Hast. Retextures for Alexia, Dragmar, Dragon Mail, Curus. We want the 4K version, so let's download that. Files and the 4K version. Neat. Okay, let's install it. Activate. Can I endorse that? Nope. Alright, Legacy like Dragonborn, interesting NPCs patch. At long last, two of the most expansive and beloved mods in the game coming together in one glorious museum display room. Alright, let's install it. Files, mod manager, download, download. And then let's install it. Okay. Activate it. Can I endorse this one? Yep. All right. Legacy of the Dragonborn. Followers patch. Inigo. Yurai. Kaiden. And Marisi. And we want the Inigo and the Marisi version. So download. Files. Here's Inigo. Download. And Marisi. And let's install those as separate mods. So first Inigo. Drop down, in you go, follow our patch, okay. Now Marisi, same thing. Drop down, Marisi, follow our patch, okay. Then activate them. Let's see if I could endorse that. Endorse, endorse, very good. Volky Hard Knight, Legacy of the Dragonborn patch. Adds a small display to Legacy of Dragonborn's Halls of Secrets. Hmm, cool. Download, download, then install it. Okay. Activate. Endorse. Yes. Alright, Legacy of Dragonborn, the Curator's Companion. The all-in-one Legacy of Dragonborn Companion features relic notifications, quack, tra quack trackers, quest trackers, and a bunch of new features to suit any playstyle. Oh my god. This mod is such a huge quality of life improvement for if you're playing Legacy of the Dragonborn. Because there is so much clutter and things to keep track of. Alright, let's install it. And I think this is going to have a lot of patches. So let's expand this full mod. Uh, we don't want to choose uh, the development kit next. I'm going to expand this. Ah, good. Alright, so... We want Ethereum, Amulets of Skyrim, Artifacts of Boethia, Bad Gremlins, Cloaks of Skyrim, Fossil Mining, Legacy Safe House Plus, Oblivion Artifacts, Royal Armory, Skyrim Sewers, Skyrim Unique Treasures, the Tools of Kagnarak, and Volkyar Knight. And as for the followers, Inigo and Morisi. Good. Next. Next. Armory Display Add-ons. We want Dawn Guard. Heavy Armory, Immersive Armors, for JC Swords, we want the craft-only version. Zim's Artifacts, we want the complete version. Not that we have a choice, but it's already checked for us. Next. Next, Quest Add-ons, Falskar, Elgin Reborn. <clears throat> Interesting NPCs, Conrick's Accoutrements, Moon and Star, Moonpath to Elsewhere, the Forgotten City, the Grey Cowl Nocturnal, Worm's Tooth, and then next. Next. Alright, and we're not choosing anything at the first part at least. Next. Wait a minute. I don't think the full mod's. Yeah, full, mod, full mod's not matching up. No big deal. 
So let's go to the page until it matches. So alternate alternate armors. So we're not choosing anything at the top half at least. Probably well then again, probably not anything actually. Oh, this is all creation club add-ons anyway. So nothing here. Next. Next. Yeah. Okay. And then install. Are we extracting this BSA? No, we are not. Okay, let's activate that. Clean this up. Okay, Quinn's Ultimate Amulet Restoration Kit. This mod allows you to restore the visual appearance of, of equipped amulets. So let's download that. Files. Mod Manager Download. Alright, there's a full mod. Let's open it up. We want the first option, normal ESP. Next. Next. And we want the first option checked. Yep. Then install it. And it looks like we're going to flag it as an ESL. So SSC edit. Run. Okay, right click. Select none. Go all the way down. Amulet show on everything. Tick that box. Okay. No mod groups, thanks. Expand it. File header. Record flags, right click, edit. Countdown, yes I'm sure. Tick the box next to ESL, and then okay. Then exit out. Box is ticked, okay. Okay, interesting NPCs, Imperious patch. We're gonna download the main file. Mod manager download. Now let's install it. And then finally, Oblivion Artifacts Invisible Head Fix. It's in a miscellaneous section. Download. Files. What was that called again? Oblivion Artifacts. Oblivion Artifacts Invisible Head Fix. Let's download it. Now install it. And let's make sure it's named properly. Oblivion Artifacts Invisible Head Fix. Okay. All right, let's activate that. Okay, guys, that's it for now. In the next video, we're going to continue on with utilities, and the next video should be the final video for mod installation part four. I will, I'll meet you in the next video. See you there.